God, this is some really catchy tunes. Anyways, well, we're back. Uh, the meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's a still full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else will be here yet. So I was wound up. Uh, so I was so wound up. I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... Exactly what? I should take care... I should take a look around at the school. Maybe that'll keep me calm a little bit. Is this part of the tutorial where you get to be accustomed to what the school layout is like? I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first steps into the Hope's Peak Academy. I was also... It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Alright, let's see what the whole school looks like. Or not. <laughs> what the? But... The instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion. Ignore the uh, firefighters. Um, it was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went to black. That was how it all began. And how life as I know it, knew it to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Do explain, please. Welcome to Despair High School, prologue. O okay? Do you want to say the- oh, sure, why not? Uh, is that fucking Peter? <laughs> I saw a Family Guy character in one of the, uh... Characters. Here, why not? Sure. What else is it? I saw Jin Kazama as well. <laughs> That's my voice acting, by the way, not his. Mm -hmm. oh. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on the top of the hard wooden desk. Is the blue um, text mean that it's in my mind? That's what I'm guessing. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of something boring, some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Okay, this looks nice. What is this? Is this the investigation? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Okay. You use the left stick to adjust your aim. You can also tap the touch screen. Um, I'm using a PS3 controller. What button do I do that for that? You can also tap the touch screen to place the reticule. Which I can't really do since I... Yeah, okay. If you aim at an object, you can interact with... Wait, oh, if you aim it if you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the X button or tap the screen. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons or the L and R buttons to adjust your viewpoint. L1 or R1 or L1 or L2. Why don't you try looking around the room? Okay. Uh, I see a security camera. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they had to keep these weirdos from just wandering in. Is this the same thing, or...? Okay, yeah, it's just the thing. A clock, with no dials. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. I can't tell! The glare is just so bad. I was just... At... It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost half an, an hour since then? Alright. What else can we... Can we use the right stick to look around? Alright. So yeah, I can see this being similar. This is like the investigation area. Alright, what's with these windows? What the heck? In any normal class, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some sort of kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. If I were to knock it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. Wait! Not what matters here. That's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Huh. Am I gonna get the same description for all the windows? 
Yeah, I'm getting. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, there's this thing of a bobber. Is this the note? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of jewel I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Or just let the janitor deal with it. Hey, what's on that desk? Next semester is about to start. Start, start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Hey there, new kid. An orient orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. Next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay, let's see. So, what, mi what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak! Okay, or it could be some sort of classroom and they drag your goddamn unconscious body somewhere far away. But then, if that's true... That just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the window... It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the O button. Okay. Um, can I investigate? I don't think I can investigate anything. What's that? There's a TV. The school is funded by a national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have a TV to have TVs in here. Really? I mean, my school has like a bunch of TVs in every single classroom. It doesn't. I don't know. I don't know how how the um school system in Japan is, but if they don't have TVs, I feel like they should have because they're definitely ways ahead of us in terms of technology, right? Leave the area. I thought I'm supposed to press the circle button, but okay. Class one A. Jeez, this hallway kind of looks weird too. It's kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head into the main hall. And that is, use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold the circle, hold down the circle button while moving to run. Oh shit. This is actually overworld movement this time? Also, you can press the triangle button to bring up the map. Press the triangle button again to close the map. How could... <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you press the triangle button to get the map, I'm pretty sure pressing the triangle button again will destroy the map. Thanks for telling me that obvious, obvious thing. Alright. It kind of looks like Persona Q in a way, except instead of um, dragging to like specific places, you're actually in a free roaming environment. You can't stray for some reason, that's pretty weird. The Spare Hotel. The Spare Hotel. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyways, I need to get to the main hall. Alright, where's the main hall? Also, goddamn, the reticle is goddamn... How do I, uh, oh, circle button to... Oh, it's one of those legacy control games. Can I just move with the... I can't strafe using... Oh, man, all right. Um, but seriously, though, how do I, uh, change the controls? I mean, no, sorry, I can't change the controls. Check the controls because... I thought I set this thing to the maximum as I can, but... It's still moving pretty damn slow when it comes to to everything. <laughs> all right. Um... What's beyond this door? I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. I guess I'm not gonna find out. Uh, God, I I can't. I'm not getting used to the whole straight, not strafing with the left stick button. The AV room is locked. Okay. Keep out. School store, I guess, is not open. Or there's a murder scene nearby. I can look down if I want to. The store is open. I feel like that's progress, so let's go wander around here. Here's the office, off limits, looks like. Keep out. Everything's fucking keep out, seems like. I wonder why there's a gate here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you could go faster by, um, Using both the left stick or the right stick to um, aim. So fuck, I think I'm gonna have to get used to this control scheme. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. 
Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Jesus, fuck. Look at that guy's hair right there. It's like Medusa. She has like an unborn yeah. child. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Who's talking right now? I can't tell who's who, who's talking, and what's going on. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. Can I move the camera? I can't move the camera, okay. So let's assess the- <laughs> there's Peter Griffin again from what I'm seeing. Um, standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Would you like to introduce me to every single student here? Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naigi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you two! <laughs> Things just keep getting curiouser, curiouser. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh fuck, how do I do a Peter Griffin voice? Uh, so, so, uh, so, uh, so strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! <laughs> Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Makoto, your tardiness is acceptable. Surely you were awake. The yeah. Surely you were awake. The meeting was started at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late is your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't even have any control over it. Duh. That's right. Uh, ooh, you look cute. Uh, everyone, just calm down. Listen. Why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now there's no time for freaking introductions! <laughs> <laughs> maybe it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know who our, each other's names are? Yeah. Huh? Um, that's a good point. Um... Okay, so, good god, all these girls' voices, they just sound the same to me. Okay, so, let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on and whatever else sounds good. I'm, totally, I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So, I guess this is a good ch is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I'm already look I already looked everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but... I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Alright, so... I'll start by talking to those five over there. Oh, we can't... Okay. He's convers... <laughs> I'm looking forward to fucking Peter Griffin here and... Shouting McShoutington. Each conversation is important to the overall... Each conversation is important to the overall story. So keep track of how they go. Okay. Uh, well first off, let me investigate what the fuck's behind this big ass door. Holy cow, what's that huge metal hatch? It looks like something you'd see from a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall as I was before, right? This door definitely wasn't there before, though. Alright, let's start from left to right. Uh, you. Oh, it says I'm name. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay, you're nerdy. Or that very enthusiastic. Kiyotaki or Kiyotaka, what? So, this is Kiyotaki. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he wanted to be a famous he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for those for the works he's done with his community's public morals. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Mm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. 
Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right. God damn, trying to voice act this guy is going to make me all sweaty. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> I like him. He's kind of like the serious guy, but he takes his job way too seriously, and it comes off as more comedic rather than threatening, if anything. All right, what about this? Shiko. Toko. Oh, sorry. Toko Fukawa. Fuck a what? Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... So, I'm guessing she's the shy, insecure little type? I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Alright. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy. <clears throat> yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literature career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovely dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a, a, roman r being a romance and all. <laughs> Yeah. What's your problem? What's your... What? It's not polite to stare, you know. Oh god, you, you have a creepy smile. What the heck? St stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd n never seen such an ugly woman. Well... You're not that ugly, dude. <laughs> I've seen way uglier women. Not not necessarily in anime, though, but you're not... You just th thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I th was... Yeah, exactly. You're... Come on, bitch. You're fine looking, okay? You're perfectly fine. You don't need to be so insecure about your looks whatsoever. Your natural beauty is perfectly, legitimately normal. Don't forget about your ugly appearance. Because it's not there. <laughs> You. Don't bother trying to l lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Oh, whatever. I don't really care. I'm, I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Yeah, she's not that bad looking. Can I zoom in? There's no zoom in button. Okay. Uh, what about you? Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Okay. She's the second valley girl, I'm guessing. Or ultimate what? Pe sensation? Pop sensation? The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant sense, I can't quite... Dude, you're really... <laughs> really. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in the that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she's been, she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? huh did you hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. Oh, fuck. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have a really good intuition. <laughs> He's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, uh, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be... I'm so sure. Hey, Makoto, did- Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long did you plan to waste your valuable time on this ridiculous back and forth? Um... S sorry just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are the intro- Are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat! Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll be able to see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Okay, what about you? Oh shit, you have Yo, English name. The name's Leon Kawada. What's up? <laughs> Yo, the name's Leon Kawada. What's up? Just in 
Which is that do you? Ultimate Baseball Star. I'd recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the Ultimate Baseball Star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured you'd... What? I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... What were you expecting? Some kind of shaved head? A kid with shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a... You know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. It's just the looks. It's all the stereotypical cliches you get to... Whatever. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. He's gonna be the valley guy, actually, now that I'm talking like him. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulation. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Oh, so that's not your natural hair, I'm guessing? <laughs> Actually, can I be totally honest with you? No. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I never got to a single practice. He never practiced? And he's still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy? Yeah! As soon as... And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have no, I have my own dream for the future. Like basketball. <laughs> it's like a reverse Michael Jordan here. My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel the star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need to do, all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're all set. How cool is that? This new version of me, this chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Can't believe I, what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something from it like that from a baseball all-star. Well, you definitely fit in the title of a metal singer, so you got that start. All right, Peter Griffin. <laughs> What's up with you? I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Oh boy. He's a real charmer, ain't he? God, he even has balls for his mouth. Uh. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you want to know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Is that a talent or something? Hmm. Once I sold one, oh, sorry, 10,000 copies of my own fan comics at a school festival, the event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't even get it. Of course, saying I'd be tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, it's like me getting 15,000 subscribers. How the fuck did I get it? All I do is let's plays, guys. I mean, then again, if PewDiePie has 20 million subscribers, hey, I'm down for it. I don't mind. Uh, the world of such idiots means nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day and destroying all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. Well, give me a copy and I'll analyze it to see if it's really shit or not. <laughs> For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What... what kind of me? Yes, indeed. It's about bracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. So that's that. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. So there are 15 people in total, right? One I, from what I'm remembering. Counting me, of course, so that in total there's 14 people I have to meet. Alright. She seems like the sportish type of looking girl. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Nice tits. <laughs> That's like literally the first thing that comes up to my mind whenever I see her. 
Ao Asahina. Ao Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even she's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. Ooh, I'd like to see her in a swimsuit. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. So, um, what was her name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Nagi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, no, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Nagi. Makoto Nagi. She, she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? I want to remember someone's name. You gotta write it down your hand three times. I never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? E H H G E Y. Mm. Um. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. That's fucking Fuka. Her voice. Or at least it's a sound like. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really not. I mean, I like the vo whole voice acting crowd, but I not too into it. I'm um, sorry, not too into. I mean, I'm not too um knowledgeable into it. Like, I could probably name some people like Johnny Young Bosch and Troy Baker and Kara Strong, but I can't really name like those little itty bitty people. And not to say that um the voice actor for Fuka is little itty bitty people, but I don't know her name. <laughs> I don't know the actual voice actor's name, so I consider her a little itty-bitty people. I don't know. Whatever. I'm pretty sure she's done ma many great work, but I have no idea. Uh, sorry. I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but... Have we met before? Elementary school? Middle school? Um... I don't think so. We just met... We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah! Chihiro, well, sorry. Chihiro Fujizaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she created. She is the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Going. Which is, has endearing her- wait, what- what the fuck's the little type- the bunny type? Um... You mean you want to, like... Whenever I think of bunnies, I think of two things. Sexy, or... Edible. <laughs> That's the two things that come to mind when I think of bunnies. Well, I haven't personally eaten a bunny myself, but I heard it was delicious. And from all the fucked up shit I've seen from Walking Dead. And... The Last of Us. Maybe it's just from zombie flicks that I've noticed bunnies are edible. Uh, whatever. Um, uh, hey, so, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for uh... now? Well, just cause you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Uh huh? huh? L lost in thought? Yeah, I, I, I had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh. That's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. No, I will not go out with you. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. I don't. I don't even know who the fuck she is. She's the master of programmers, but... Okay, she's no... Jeanne Forge or anything, but... At best, she's probably going to be best considered as a Phil Spencer, maybe. She's the silent type. Kyoko Kili Gili. Kili God, that's a lot of Lees. Um, can I ask for your name? 
Onama Ewa Nandeska, por favor. My name is Kyoko Kiryu. Ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark! Ultimate mysterious girl. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hope's Peak Academy thread. She's the one! And I did see that there were some students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I, I guess you don't have to tell me. <gasps> no, I don't have to tell you. I'm not going to, Baka. <laughs> Nothing about her turned up on online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking, I guess. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, what are you? Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay. Ultimate fashionista. So we need to get a fashion designer in her fucking haircut. What the fuck? <laughs> Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally Photoshop. Photoshop? Well, yeah, I could tell. Your boobs are smaller. Your... What? Oh, that's really care. <laughs> yeah, you know, hold on. Is there a button for me to... Yeah, left bumper. Yep, yep, boobs big. Eyes are widened. Pigtail's a lot more, um... Normal. <laughs> yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. So... They aren't real? What can we do? Well, look at her right here, and look at her in the magazine. Fake tits. Fake hair. Eve doesn't even have the real contact lens. Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days for, to Photoshop the crap out of the cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all Samaritan porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Uh, fuck, what's her name again? Junko Enoshima. Alright, and you? Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> you. Okay, you're pretty pleasant. Firing the F bomb immediately. Biker gang leader. Oh shit. Don't wanna mess with him. Mondo Awada, huh? He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect even all from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'd better be careful around him. One wrong move and I'd be waking up at the bottom of the sea. Alright, last four people. These four over there are the only ones left. Alright. You. Who are you? Sakura Okami. Okay, I thought Makoto being a girl's name was odd, but okay. Martial artist. Oh shit, you really do not want to mess with him slash her. I do not know what you are. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. <laughs> the day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts... Oh, that's a girl? <laughs> She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. What do I mean despite being a girl? I mean... She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit about more about her. Some call her Ogre. Even the, some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. 
the famed missing link. Any incoming Hope Peak students are, who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you! Huh? Uh, yes? I snapped out of attention even without realizing. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quality is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not all that fit to act as my training partner. I never asked to begin with. <laughs> I'm not so sure that's a shame for me. So that's a woman. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. What are you? Yakuya Togami. Yakuya. That doesn't seem like a normal. Name. All right. Who are you? Ultimate affluent pro, pro, pro what? Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Yaka Togami. He's the hair a parent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're doing with it. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away, I'm sick of sicking at you. Sicking is sick at you. Zora says to me, you and I are never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Oh, he's gonna be me. Alright, this guy looks like a surfer dude. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Oh my god, I really love him. He's he's he has an awesome voice. I love it. Yeah. My name is Asari Yuri. Nice to meet you. I'm the ultimate clever arrogant. He's like dead whenever he tries to mimic his uh, fancy little like person impersonation. Yasuhiro Hagaguri, known as Supernova in his psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all the fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, okay. I give up. Huh? What happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after her. Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep with the Lemur and its civilization. <laughs> <clears throat> What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And, well, it's a long story. A few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. And lastly, no last name from this chick. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. Is she German? <laughs> Ultimate gambler. Shit. Okay. I thought she would be the luckiest person or something. Celestia Luden, huh? Ludenberg. That's not an e that's not a hard last name to pronounce. You know that? Hell, your last name is a lot more harder to pronounce than her last name. Judging her, really. Ludenberg. It's my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia, Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Maybe she's half Japanese or something. But as I mentioned, I'd mu I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at times. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-titled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in veal of lies. They say she entered and won the Underground Gambler tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughed as she did it. 
I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> hee hee hee. That smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch out for myself around her. And that's all the people. And with that, all introductions are done. We'll be right back with the next part. Stay tuned for the next episode of... What's this game's name? <laughs> uh... Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Wow, I actually forgot the fucking game of title. Be right back.